Okay, welcome to training by Banyan Technology Group, uh, BTG. This training today is about Outlook 2007, specifically on how to create a signature in Outlook 2007. Um, I like to create my signatures in an email. Uh, it's much easier to do than going into Word and uh, working back and forth. Besides, it's, it, it'll, it, you, you can often uh, take an someone else's signature and copy it. For example, uh, here's a little trick. If you right-click in the signature, you can choose any signature that you have created. Um, so here's one for replies, a nice small one if I wanted to. Uh, here's uh, one for that I, I did for Jerry Cobb. This is a popular format. Um, it's got the picture on the left, the contact information in the middle, and the John Arwood logo on the right, and um, the confidentiality statement uh, below. You'll notice that it is it, the, the way to get it across is by putting it in a table. You can see that uh, the table is there, it's just not visible. Uh, it's three uh, cells across, three columns across, and that's how you can get things going across. All right, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, let's go back. We'll go to Jim Scart's signature right here. I'll create one for Jim. Um, what I'll do is I'll start up at the top in this area here. Um, and what I'll do is I will do, uh, I will insert a table. So I'll click insert and I'll click table. And right here I can do rows down or rows across. And I want three across, so I'm going to do a three by one table and click it. Um, I'm going to click in the first cell. I want to put Jim's picture, so I'll do insert picture. And I have a uh, folder here that I um, misspelled, but anyway, there it is, Jim Scarts. I'll bring that in. Maybe I want the, the picture to be a little bit bigger. Um, I'll also grab this information to put it in here. Now notice if I right click, it brings up those signatures, so I'm going to have to copy it in a different way. Um, I can go up here to the to, I got to click out of it. I can go up here to the copy button, or notice I can do a control C. So I'll just hit that and click over here wh where I want it to go. I can do a paste, or I can do a control V. So there you go. There's Jim's signature. Uh, over in here, I'm going to want the John Arwood logo. So I'm going to go once again, insert picture, and grab the new symbol of local knowledge logo. Uh, take this and make it a little smaller. Um, uh, maybe I'll make Jim's picture just a little bit bigger. Okay, just by grabbing the corners. Uh, I'll, I may want to make this centered, so I'll highlight this and I'll hit the center button right here. So now everything's centered. Um, this picture, I think I want to put it down below, so I'll click to the right of it, right click, and I'll do cell alignment. That's where this uh, picture lives in the cell. Notice that you have nine choices, top left, all the way to top right, middle left, all the way to middle right, and bottom left, all the way to bottom right. There's right in the middle. So let's try this one, see how it works. Okay, so there it is at the bottom. Um, I think there's an extra line here, so I'm going to click here and hit my backspace. So that brought it up. So now everything's looking kind of equal here. Maybe I'll make Jim's picture just a little bit bigger. Okay, and I know that I have room where I can move things over. So I'm going to take this and just drag it over. And then take this and drag this over. I want to make sure everything stays on one line. And it does. Maybe make the logo just a little bit bigger by dra dragging it out. Always make sure to drag it at an angle so that you don't change the qualities of the logo. You don't make it too uh, fat or, or thin or uh, just out of whack. Um, at this point, I can get rid of this part right here. So I'm going to highlight that and del just delete it. Um, I think I'm going to want the listing book logo I over here. So I'm going to do another insert picture. And I'm going to grab the listing book logo right there. All right, and that's a little bit big also, so I'll just drag that down. And now we've got the listing book logo. And underneath it, maybe I'll put search, search, be MLS like an agent. And maybe grab this text and change the color up here to something nice and blue. 
maybe a little darker. So let's get this blue. And all right, that looks good enough for our sake. Okay, I'm going to move this over. And there is a trick for the um, for the table. What what you do is you go over here, and this is the table uh, activation here. I'll right click that, and I will go into borders and shading. Now you would think that if I made the borders none, which it would, it would make it none, um, that the the borders would go away. But however, they do show up even with uh, at none when you put it into a signature. Uh, they show up in a very light gray. So what we want to do is make borders all and then make the color of the borders white. Okay, so this will take the borders, the borders will be there, but they'll be the same color as the background. So I'll say OK. And now the borders went away. Okay. So now I've got a signature that goes across. I can even do some things with Jim's picture. Maybe click the picture and go into format and possibly put a little border around it if I wanted to. Okay, or maybe a little fade out, uh, something like that. Here's a trick here. If I selected this one, it has a shadow and a border. I'll click it, and then I'll go in here, and I'll make the border around it smaller. So I'll right-click, and I will format the picture. Okay, and then I'll go into Line Style, and notice the width is at 10 point. I'm going to make that way down. Notice it's getting smaller as I do that, and even 4.5 is too much. Okay, so that's pretty subtle, one and a half point, and there it is. There's a fairly nice looking um, signature. So now it's time to put it into, uh, into a signature file. Just because it's on here, on a message, this was just the place for us to um, create it. So I'm going to highlight it like this all the way to the top, okay, and copy it. And then go back to my Outlook right here. Go to Tools options mail format the third tab over then come down to state to signatures and I'll do a new signature for Jim so I'm going to create new and I'm going to name it Jim Scarts picture and click OK or enter whatever and now I'll click in here and I'll just paste control V or right click paste and there is the signature. Okay. Now, one of the things that you have to do is is select the signature for new messages or replies in forward. So here are all my signatures that I can choose from as my new message or for my replies. I'm going to leave it at BTG for, because uh, I want to have my own signature. So I'm going to say OK and then say OK. And now, when I do a new message my signature will come up but like I told you before all I have to do is right click and I'll select Jim Scart's picture and there's the new signature all created with a photo um, with this, uh, his contact information the John R. Wood Realtors one thing that I did forget and l why don't we just uh, do this again here do this part we want to make a hyperlink so I will go in here and right click and select hyperlink okay and here I will put I will put Jim Scarts dot listing book dot com and say okay and now there's a hyperlink behind there I can test the hyperlink by putting my cursor over the picture and holding my control key down and left clicking that's how you test so control left click and let's see if this launches and there's Jim's site okay there it is so I will close that and go back to the message alright and this is the one with the hyperlink so I'm gonna go highlight it again because I made a mistake copy go back to the inbox tools again options third tab over mail format signatures I wanna select Jim Scart's picture and I this time I just want to edit it so I'm just gonna highlight the whole thing all the way down and hit delete and then once again right click paste and there it is say OK OK and now when I do a message a new message 
I'll change the signature to Jim's picture. And when I put my cursor over listing book, I have a hyperlink. Okay, and obviously this also works. The jimscarts.com hyperlink also works. So thank you very much. That's uh, it for the for the uh, um, video class. Anytime you have any questions, send an email to techhelp at johnrwood.com. We'll try to help you. Uh, and as always, there are classes at uh, Polaris for um, Outlook 2007. A lot more. Uh, a lot more than just creating a signature. Thank you very much.